you may have realized this already, but as you're typing inside of a Microsoft Word document, you may find that Word automatically corrects some of the, wor the words that you type into the document. For example, and I just want to show this off here, so I'm going to just drop down a line here. I just hit my enter key there after the word video. And I'm just going to type in something here. I'm going to type in the. Now, normally we type in the, T-H-E. Right? Correct? All right, take a look. So I type it in here, but maybe I'm, I type it on my keyboard and I accidentally transpose two of the letters. So I say T-E-H. Oops, you know, I misspelled it, but I'm just banging away on my keyboard. I'm typing something out, maybe listening to somebody talk and or whatever, not paying attention. Oh, I'll go back and fix that later. But right away, as soon as I hit my space bar to go on to the next word, you'll see that word will automatically autocorrect. It'll make that adjustment for me. That's very common, just transposing those two little letters and Word automatically corrects it for me. Now, built into Microsoft Word, there's a pretty decent sized dictionary. Well, that's what I'll call the dictionary. It's a, actually a big list of commonly misspelled words, their commonly misspelled way, and the correction for that misspelling. Okay, I want to show off this list of words that Word will automatically correct for you. Uh, if you go up to your file tab, top of your screen, file, I'm going to go down to options, file to options. Once I've got the options window open and there's loads of stuff in here, well worth your time to poke around and see what's available for you. I'm going to go to proofing. Over here on the left, I'll get proofing. So inside of proofing, looks like the first option there, autocorrect options. I'm going to go into the autocorrect options here. Now, just as an FYI and a little disclaimer here, the autocorrect and the spell checker that we just used just inside the previous lecture are the same feature carried across all the Office applications. So if you open up Excel or you open up PowerPoint, you use a spell checker, you use autocorrect, you're going to find the same features inside of those applications as well. So just keep that in the back of your head. So here I'm on the autocorrect option and I can see there's several things that are currently turned on for me that Word will just automatically correct for you. You've got show autocorrect option buttons, uh, correct two initial capitals. You ever do that? You ever banging away on your keyboard holding down your shift key to make something capital and you accidentally hold down the shift key perhaps a moment too long so your first two letters get capitalized? Well, Word will automatically correct that for you. Capitalize first letter of sentences, that's great. Capitalize first letter of table cells, capitalize names of days. So you type in Monday, all lowercase, uh, word, as long as you spelled it correctly, will automatically uppercase the M. Uh, corrects accidental use of caps lock key. I go to reach for that A button on my keyboard and I hit the caps lock by accident. So word automatically corrects these options for you. If you don't want it to happen, for whatever reason, okay, you can come in here and you can turn those options off. Now down below we've got the replace text as you type and this is that list I was referring to. If I scroll through here, you're going to find the commonly misspelled ways to misspell specific words and their corrections. Two little columns there. So you see that command, right? Command's the word, but they transpose D and N. Okay? Uh, coming, C-O-M-I-N-G, I'm coming to the store, or I'm coming over there or whatever. Uh, I just yell it to my kids all the time, I'm coming! Uh, it looks like they misspelled it, they did two M's inside of there, so it would automatically correct it for them. So you got this huge list, these commonly misspelled words and their appropriate corrections. You've also got up at the top some symbols that you could use. Take a look, I just want to show this off, this is pretty neat. I come back up to my document, if I type in an open parentheses and then do a letter C, and then close the parentheses, so that was shift 9 and shift 0 for the parentheses, I automatically get the copyright symbol. That's pretty slick. Let's try another one. I'll do a parentheses, oh, let's see, I think it's uh, TM, close parentheses, and now I got the trademark symbol up there. And there's a number of them that you can use. Just go back into that autocorrect area, go right back to File, Options, back to Proofing, and autocorrect options, you'll find everything down there. There's the TM, there's the registered trademark, you got all, all sorts of uh, these special symbols that you could use as well. 
And then, of course, all their commonly misspelled words that we do. Uh, now, something else you can do here, and this is pretty slick, I use this quite a bit, is you can add additional words to this autocorrect. Think about this. Hey, I'm writing out documents inside a word, and I'm always misspelling my manager's name. Right? I just, for whatever reason, I keep misspelling it. Well, I can add my own word inside of here, misspelled, how whatever that is, and then I can correct it. I can put in the correct way to spell it. Or I can use this as kind of an acronym system for me. You ever use acronyms in the office? Right? I've worked in many places where acronyms are like everyday use, common language. And when you first get hired into a position, you're trying to learn all these acronyms. Let's try this. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say, oh, what do I want to do? I'll do uh, I'll just do USA. I'm going to type in USA. So now when, when I type in USA, capital USA, I want to replace that with United States of America. Just to have it automatically do it for me. Now, once I've done that, the misspelled word or the acronym or whatever it might be, my manager's name, whatever it is, then tell it how it should actually spell it, I'll hit the add button. So that has now been added to my autocorrect dictionary. And I can hit OK. I'll hit OK out of the options window. And now I'm going to try it out. I'll say USA, hit my space bar, and it automatically changes it to United States of America. And I'm done. As long as I didn't misspell it right there, and I knew that double check that United States of it looks good, uh, then I'm all good to go. And then kind of the reverse is true as well. You can go back to file, options, autocorrect, proofing, autocorrect, and you can delete uh, these terms out of there as well if you'd like to. But I suggest take advantage of it, not just for the common ones that are already built into the system, but build your own as well. And maybe even play around with your friends. Put some stuff in there and automatically changes it on them, right? If you can catch them on their computer. Anyways, do what you like with it, but neat, neat feature, autocorrect. Try it out.